Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 9. And this is going to be my trailer breakdown for Episode 2 for this season, otherwise entitled Here No Evil. But before we get into anything else, let's actually watch the trailer. You loved Frost with all your heart. Sometimes when we love someone like that, we do the wrong things. Where's Caitlin? Need a doctor. If you're not Caitlin or Frost, who are you? No more going rogue. So last episode was obviously the big season premiere for season nine, which, yeah, it seemed to be a bit of a mixed response. Like, I'm more in favor of it than some people I've seen where just completely not liking it at all. It seems like it was a bit of a mixed bag, but I think it, you know, by the end of the episode with some of those cliffhangers, it set up a decent, uh, you know, platform for certain things going forward into the rest of the season, including this episode specifically and some of the mysteries and stories around it. And just a heads up, in about like four or five hours, probably from after this video is uploaded, we'll be live on Twitch, live chatting and breaking down episode one, having a big live discussion over on Twitch. So if you're going to be awake in four to five hours from when this video is up, feel free to head over. I'll tweet out when we're going live, but you can follow the Twitch in the uh, description down below. So hopefully I'll see some of you over there. But of course, before we get into the actual breakdown of the trailer and everything like that, we will quickly read out the synopsis or description for the episode, as it does give us actually a bit more context as to certain things that you know, lead off the end of last episode that are going to play in this one that the trailer doesn't address. So we'll read that out. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below your various thoughts, opinions, theories, everything like that. Always curious to read what you guys are thinking. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, want to show your support, everything like that, want to drop a like on the video, it takes two seconds. Barry feels guilty for what happened to Caitlin, and Mark comes up with a plan which makes everyone skeptical. Meanwhile, Red Death looms in Central City and commands that failure is not an option. Joe asks Cecile to make a choice which leads Cecile to think about the greater good. Allegra and Chester take a step in a new direction. Lastly, old friends pay an unexpected visit to Star Labs. So to kick off the trailer, we do actually have Barry talking to Chill Blaine or Mark. I just say Chill Blaine all the time, but I guess his name is Mark. Uh, and it sounds like Mark has gone and done something bad in response to what has happened to Frost. And I'm guessing Barry is talking about Chill Blaine helping Caitlin do what we saw at the end of last season with the pod you know, trying to bring back for, uh, Frost and everything like that, which has now resulted in this new character that still doesn't have a name to our knowledge that we saw show up at the end of last episode that was played by Danielle Panabaker. Now, my guess is that she will be maybe another person from the comics that held the Killer Frost mantle, like Louise Lincoln or Crystal Frost. I, I think Crystal Frost, I think that was another name. So something like that. So when Barry says he went rogue, I don't think he did anything evil or literally joined the rogues or anything like that. He just went and did something without letting, one, uh, letting any, anyone else know. And now it's resulted in what's happening now with whatever this person is that Daniel Panabaker is playing that Barry's now very concerned about. And as we know from the synopsis, Barry feels pretty guilty for what happened to her. So he's going to learn all about the pod, everything like that, that we saw uh, Chill Blaine and uh, Caitlin do at the end of last season that was behind the backs of everyone else. Now, the next part of the trailer was quite interesting because it confirms like some like scene speculation, if you want to call it, from one of the trailers. Even though both of the trailers, I think, might have had uh, this stuff that was going on while also revealing something new about that same scene. And that is here when we see the new Fiddler from post-crisis. At least it appears to be a new actress. Doesn't look like the one that we had in season four. But the bigger detail is who is on the floor in front of her. And in, in, in like the earlier season trailers, we got the person on the floor in this car park in the rain was like all blurred out in the background. Couldn't see who the hell it was. It just looked like a random person. But as we can see, it's actually Pied Piper. Now it is hard to tell whether you know, he was out there being a hero and being a vigilante or something like that. Or maybe he was maybe even doing some nefarious things, you know, villainous things and just runs into Fiddler who owns him. Or maybe they run into each other like crossed paths and, you know, Pied Piper or maybe like owes the Fiddler money or whatever it might be. We're not too sure. But as we see next, we have Pied Piper or Hartley Rathaway in Star Labs and almost like begging for Caitlin to be there due to him needing a doctor. And I hadn't really thought of the fact that Caitlin was the medical person. I know she was Dr. Snow, but you just forget that like she's the medical person and that without her, 
if Barry or anyone else is injured, he is sort of screwed or they're sort of screwed and will need some outside help, which isn't good when you're doing crime fight. And they're going to need a reason as to why you got a massive cut across your head or a bullet wound or whatever it might be. So I'm sure that conversation will come up in some way. The fact that, oh crap, we don't have Caitlin anymore. We need someone who actually knows what's going on in regards to like the medicine side of things and, you know, hospital side of things. So maybe this new person that Daniel Pannebaker is playing has that side of Caitlin. We don't know, but they're gonna have to try and figure that out. But because Hartley is back in this episode or Pied Piper is back in this episode and is in Star Labs, I do wonder if this is the episode where those other B-team rogues, as as many have been calling them, show up. That being Pied Piper, Goldface, uh, The Hotness, and Chillblain, of course. Or we could get one other familiar face or two showing up alongside Pied Piper that aren't in that B-team rogues group. Now, whoever they might be is up for question. But even then, maybe like they count who Daniel Panabaker is playing as that familiar face or an old friend. I'm not too sure. That's a wait and see. But it seems like one of the underlying mysteries that's going to be going on throughout this episode is just what's going on with... Well, I was going to say Caitlin, but I guess the correct way to put it would just be whoever Daniel Panabaker is playing. But we do see her back in that pod. Like we see her hand go for him. We see a lot of people looking around it from the end of last season. So maybe this is them trying to reverse the process of what happened to her or using more of the tech within Star Labs to maybe put it together better. Maybe they thought they stuffed it up last time and that they can actually put it together properly and I guess finish the process. Or maybe she needs to go into this pod to survive or whatever it might be. It will be something worth finding out. And there's even a bit in the trailer where she's like feeling the rain outside. So I don't know exactly what's happening here. Like, I'm very, very surprised that we potentially could go and not have Caitlyn this season. But Caitlyn was on the poster they released for this season. And that could have just been putting Daniel Panabek on the poster because she's a season regular, but also not showing who she truly is. So maybe this is the character we're going to get, we're going to get with her throughout the rest of the season. But it's also like a question mark. I'm not 100% sure. And there hasn't been any set photos out there to say whether she goes back to being Caitlyn or if this is who she stays. Like this is the first time we're seeing this character with the somewhat dodgy blue highlight extensions or whatever they are. But that is it from stuff from this, uh, the actual trailer. The trailer didn't show too much, but it gives you a decent idea as to what's coming our way in next week's episode. But one thing they don't show, which might've just been to try to, you know, contain spoilers in case someone saw maybe this trailer, but didn't see the end of episode one yet or something, but there's no red death in this trailer at all, but we can expect them to show up in some way. And that's mainly because the only thing I'm going to include from the synopsis to talk about now afterwards is the fact that it says, meanwhile, red death looms in central city and command and command, sorry, that failure is not an option. So I'm assuming that's talking to the rogues because we see that Captain Boomerang is working for Red Death and we can assume that the Fiddler is working there as well. Now, I'm very curious as to whether the Fiddler was maybe, you know, hunting Pied Piper in order to bring him in and be a part of the Red Death rogues or Red Death's rogues, if if you want to put it that way. And maybe Hartley doesn't want to do it. We don't know whether he's gone back into a life of crime or he's just sitting in the middle or we're not too sure exactly what he's been doing since the last time we saw him, which I think was in, we didn't say him last season. Was it season seven or season six? I'm not too sure, but uh, we're not, we're not too sure exactly what he's been doing since that point. But it wouldn't surprise me too much if Red Death is just trying to lure in as many of the villains around Central City in order to create this ultimate force that does go up against the Flash. Now, we do know that Red Death is apparently, well, it seems based off one of the trailers that Red Death is trying to build a time machine. Obviously, we had uh, Red Death getting the Roma accelerator thing uh, that Captain Boomerang got last episode, which obviously would help with some time stuff. So I'm, I'm curious to see what is being pieced together and what's being hunted in this particular episode. Um, that's obviously a wait and see, but the last thing to go over in this video is just a couple of, or a few primer images. I think there's three, was there four? I think there was only, I've only got three down here. I don't think, I think there was only three. I think it's for episode three where there's four primer images, but they're pretty basic. So the first one here is just Barry with Chester and Iris and they're in the speed lab, but this is where the pod that, um, I guess whoever Daniel Panabaker is playing is going to be put in. So they're looking over this and doing some tests or you know, everything like that, just your general science mumbo jumbo. So they're looking over that. I think I'm curious to see what Barry's like in this episode, because the synopsis does say that he's like, he feels guilty. So, you know, if something bad happens, like he's not going to feel that good, is he? But the next one is a really cool shot of the flash and his suit here. Now, I think this is going to be him going after the fiddler. Now I thought this episode was going to be about murmur because when you think like hear no evil, you know, murmur doesn't speak. So you're not going to hear 
no, you're not, you know, hear no evil because murmurs doesn't speak. But obviously, it might be about trying not to hear the fiddler. But then again, both of them could be in this episode. We know there's a bunch of rogues coming in. We know we have Captain Boomerang, we have Murmur, we have the fiddler, we have Rainbow Raider. So they're going to have to try and introduce them fairly quickly. So we might get both of them in this episode. Uh, who knows? But yeah, as we're, you know, used to at this point, this suit is looking really good. In the final season, it's going to look much better um, because of the way they're filming it. So yeah, no complaints here. And the final photo was another one of Barry in that speed lab area. In the beh behind him on the left side here, you can see a bit of the pod. So yeah, based off Barry's expression, uh, some stuff hasn't gone down well. And he seems to be a bit concerned being like, oh, goodness me, what have I done here? So yeah, I don't think this is going to be an enjoyable experience for Barry. Um, so yeah. <laughs> strap yourselves in some for some concerned barrier heading into episode two. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like and show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we went over in this video. Always curious to read what you guys are thinking. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.